Welcome to the latest installment of DMAnswers.com, Demand Forecasting. Here is the gas station data, which I've modified and just included the, the variables of interest to me. Uh, the first column of interest is the store type. You have some locational data and then this MPD count. One thing that was interesting is that in the new Statistica version 12, if you use the data mining workspaces, they have a new data health node you can use and it will help you to understand if there's um, redundant data or sparse data or invariant data and so forth. One thing that's interesting is that uh, you can find out if the variables that are categorical variables are redundant. Um, and it happens to be that these locational data are have 100% correlation with this MPD count. And so um, these locational da data points or these variables will not be included in the analysis today. You also see the noon traffic and the go-home traffic are also highly correlated. Here's the variables that are of most interest to me, the marketing one, three, and five. These basically say what type of marketing campaign was used at this particular gas station. And so you'll see that it's either zero for no and or one for yes. And we can scroll down and see, um, and there's no overlap. It's either the gas station did one of these three marketing campaigns. There's some other characteristics of the the gas station such as the egress, visibility, watershed, a variable describing if it's off of a ramp and also to and from work. Uh, some of these other ones I'm not exactly sure what they mean NH1, NH3. I believe this is median income for the area. I'm not sure the difference between one and three. I know that these are highly correlated so it probably makes sense just to use one of them. This one I think has to do with the age of the population and then some other demographic information. These last columns explain how close different types of stores are to the gas station. So you have the smoke smoke stores, discount stores, a drug store, clubs, a club store, a super club type store, and supermarket. And last and definitely not least is the gas volume. So in other words, how much volume of gas was sold at that particular gas station during the marketing campaign. All right, so we want to see if this demographic information and the marketing um, campaign can predict the demand for gasoline. So uh, what I did is I went ahead and just did uh, some regression analysis. But before I did that, I wanted to figure out which of the predictors were the best. And so I used um, Statistica's feature selection. I just used the feature selection right here that I'm pointing out with my mouse. And the results of the feature selection are seen here. So the marketing campaigns look like that they have some promise that they um, look like good variables for predictors. The MPD count looks good and also the two from work, go home traffic, and some of the other demographic information. Okay, so I, I use I created a, a variable bundle using uh, variables that are listed here, and then I plugged those into a regression analysis and did a stepwise regression. And you'll see here, I'm going to show you the results of that stepwise regression. So the result, the ones that were kept, that stayed in the model at the very end after the eighth step in this case were MPD count, market one, marketing one, and the go home traffic. So it ended up being a very simple model. And this just gives you a, a, a Pareto chart with the T statistic for each of these. And so you can see that marketing one has the, is the most influential variable in this regression model. So now just to get a an idea of, of uh, how well this model is predicting, we could just look at a scatter plot of the observed values versus the predicted values, and then the scatter around that. And so it looks like it's doing a fairly good job. And the thing that is encouraging is to know that the marketing one variable is significant. So this could be helpful. You can take this model 
and say to uh, an owner of a gas station, hey, if you use marketing one, you have this chance of increasing your sales or get demand for gasoline by X amount. And you could see if that was, would justify to them the um, cost of the marketing campaign. So I appreciate your you're listening to this video and if you have any questions about this particular model or if you would like to get access to this data set please contact me through my blog dmanswers.com thank you